Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to crochet this super cute filet crochet bunny blanket. For more information, please check out the description box below or go to johnamartinez.com. Thank you so much for watching, now let's get started. For materials, I am using this worsted weight acrylic yarn. I am also using an H 5.00 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a wool needle to weave in ends. To begin, create a slip knot of your choice. Now chain 149. For row one, you're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from hook. To double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the fourth chain, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. In this pattern, this chain at the beginning is going to count as our first stitch. Now we're simply going to double crochet into each chain all the way back. At the end of row one, turn to begin row two. For this pattern, you can chain three at the beginning to count as your first double crochet. And if you're going to do that, you want to make sure and skip this first V here of this first stitch. And then your second stitch will go into the top of this stitch. So the chain three will cover this first stitch here, and then you'll double crochet into your following stitch. Another thing you can also do, which I prefer, is to do an alternative starting double crochet. To do an alternative starting double crochet, you're going to pull up a loop almost as high as a regular double crochet, and then you're going to hold the loop on your hook with your first finger, and wrap the yarn around your hook just as if you're yarning over. Then still holding the yarn, you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, I have three loops on my hook that resemble the double crochet. Then yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And there we have something that looks like a double crochet. And then you're simply going to double crochet into the next two stitches. And here's what that looks like if we just chain at the beginning instead. You see it kind of leaves a gap here because we're skipping over that first V right there. After creating our first three double crochet, we're now going to begin a row repeat. Our row repeat is chain one, skip a stitch, and three double crochet. And we're just going to repeat that all the way down our work. Once we get to the end, I will show you how my work is looking. So this is my work after row two. Turn your work to begin row three. Row three, we're going to double crochet into each stitch and also into our chain one spaces. So if you're going to start off with your chain three at the beginning here, you're just going to simply double crochet into each stitch. When you get to those chain spaces, you're just going to double crochet right into them. Here is my work at the end of row three. And you want to make sure that you place your last stitch into the top of that chain three. So the third chain is your last double crochet stitch. For this pattern, we're going to be working with a graph and each block and each X is going to help us determine whether it's a solid space or a chain space. Now for row four, we're going to be practicing that a little bit here. So a block or an X on the graph is two double crochet. Those two double crochet can go into other stitches or into chain spaces. The open blocks or the chain spaces are a double crochet chain one. So if this particular space right here was on the graph, it would be just an open box and it would be double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch. On the graph, we are right here. So we're going to create a block where this X is and then we're going to begin a repeat. And we're going to create all of these open spaces 
and then we're going to block again here. So to begin the row, you're going to double crochet three, or chain three, double crochet two. We're going to make 17 open spaces. To create an open space, I've double crocheted one, and chain one, skip a stitch. Now we'll go ahead and create another open space, which is a double crochet, chain one. And then we're just going to continue this in this fashion until we have 17 of these open spaces. So again, the spaces are double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch. So that's one space. So now here I have 17 spaces. So my last one was double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch. Now I am doing one block, which is two double crochet. Then you will repeat 17 spaces, one block, all the way down your work. At the end, you will place one last double crochet and turn. Turn to begin row five. Row five is going to be exactly like row four, so we're simply going to place a double crochet into each one of our double crochets and chain one and skip the chain one from our previous row. And here is row five complete. Of course, you're going to be repeating this three times for a total of four images. Turn to begin row six. For row six, we're going to create our first block. And that, of course, on the graph is two double crochet. Then we're going to create nine spaces. So my first space is going to be double crochet, chain one, and you're just going to repeat this until you have nine. Here I have made nine spaces, and the next and last space is this one right here, and you won't see it until we create the next block. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these spaces here, but of course I've chained one because that's a space. Now we're going to create four blocks, and this is the row we're working on right now. This one right here, the little bunny feet. Here I have chained one, of course, that was my last space, so we're going to skip this space here. Then we're going to create four blocks. One block is two double crochet. So there's one block. Two blocks. Three blocks. and four blocks. Now to finish this image, we have four spaces. So of course a space is double crochet, chain one, skip a space, or stitch. So double crocheting into this next double crochet, chaining one, and there is my first space. So I'm going to create four of those. So here I have four spaces, and then I'm going to create a block. Two double crochet together, and of course, if you're at the very end of your blanket, you're going to go ahead and double crochet also into that very last stitch. So again, row six is going to be a block, which is two double crochet here. Then you're going to begin a repeat. Nine spaces, four blocks, four spaces, one block, and that's going to be repeated. At the very end of your blanket, you're going to double crochet into your very last stitch. Turn to begin row seven. Before we begin row seven, I just wanna talk about the graph a little bit here. So for the graph, we read it this way, and then we read it back this way again. So we just completed this row right here. We went nine spaces, then four blocks, four spaces, and a block. Now the next row is row seven, and we're going to be reading it back this way again. So you're going to be reading it, we're going to create a block, then we're going to create four spaces, four blocks, a space, two blocks, six spaces, and a block. Now let's first create our first block. So here I have my first block. Now we're going to make four spaces.
Now we need four blocks. There I have four blocks. Now we're going to create one space. Double crochet, chain one to create a space. Now we need two blocks. Now you need six spaces. And now a block. Then you're going to repeat from here all the way to here three times, a total of four times over your blanket. And then at the very end of your work, you're going to have, of course, a block and an extra double crochet. All right, now let's look at row seven again. So we have a block here and then four spaces, four blocks, one space, two blocks, and then six spaces, then one block. So here is the row we just completed right here, and now we're going to be doing row eight, which is working back this way. First, create a block. Now make four spaces. Then two blocks, then one space, two blocks and a space. Next eight blocks. So of course we've chained one, so don't forget to skip a stitch before you begin your eight blocks. And there I have eight blocks. Now two spaces. Then make a block, and we're going to repeat this all the way down our work. So the repeat is going to be four spaces, two blocks, one space, eight blocks, two spaces, and one block. You're going to repeat that three more times for a total of four images, and then you're going to double crochet into your last stitch when you get to the end for your border. Turn to begin row nine. So right here, this was row eight, and we were going this way. So row nine, we're going to start out with a block, two spaces, then 10 blocks, and five spaces, then a block. Begin your row with a block. Now we need two spaces. Now 10 blocks. And there we have 10 blocks, and now we need five spaces. and one block. Again, row nine is going to be a block, and then you'll do your repeat. So your repeat is going to be two spaces, 10 blocks, five spaces, one block. Repeat a total of four times for four images. At the end of your work, you're going to double crochet into your last stitch, To begin row 10, create a block. 
row 10 repeat is going to be five spaces. Then you're going to create nine blocks, then make three spaces and one block. Repeat this all the way down your work. And once you get to the end, of course, double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row 11. Row 11, start with a block. Then you're going to make three spaces, nine blocks, five spaces, and one block. I will meet back up with you when I am finished with this row. So here we are at the end of row 11. Of course, I started with a block, then I did three spaces, nine blocks, five spaces, one block. And of course, you would repeat that all the way down your work, ending with a double crochet into your last double crochet. Turn to begin row 12. Start with your beginning block. So your repeat is going to be five spaces, seven blocks, five spaces, and one block. Repeat that all the way down your work, and then at the end, place a double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin the next row. Row 13, create your beginning block. Row 13, repeat, is going to be six spaces, eight blocks, and three spaces, and one block. When you get to the end of the row, double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row 14. Row 14, beginning block, this row repeat is going to be two spaces, seven blocks, eight spaces, and one block. Repeat that all the way down your work, and when you get to the end, double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin the next row. To begin row 15, create your beginning block. Row 15 repeat is going to be ten spaces, two blocks, one space, two blocks, and then two spaces, and one block. Repeat this all the way down your work, and once you've come to the end, you're going to place a double crochet into your last double crochet. Turn to begin row 16. Row 16, start with your beginning block. Row 16, repeat, is going to be three spaces, five blocks, nine spaces, one block. Repeat all the way down your work and then end with a double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row 17. Row 17, make your beginning block. The row repeat is going to be eight spaces, two blocks, one space, two blocks, four spaces, one block. End your row with a double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin the next row. Begin row 18 with the beginning block. Now this row repeat is going to be the same as the last row repeat, except of course we're going in the opposite direction. So we're going to have four spaces, two blocks, one space, two blocks, eight spaces, and one block. So you're basically going to be double crocheting in every single double crochet and chaining one over your chain one spaces. At the end of this row, I will meet back up to show you how my work is looking. And here's my work at the end of row 18. Turn to begin row 19. Start row 19 with your beginning block. Row 19 repeat is going to be eight spaces, one block, two spaces, two blocks, four spaces, one block. Repeat all the way down your work, and once you get to the end, double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin the next row. Row 20, beginning block. For this row, we're going to do our beginning block, then we're going to make 17 spaces, one block. That's going to be our repeat. So this is how row 20 looks. When you get to the end, double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row 21. Row 21 is going to be exactly like row 20. We're going to do our beginning block, 17 spaces, then one block. Repeat all the way down your work, and when you get to the end, double crochet into your last stitch, and turn. 
I will meet back up again for row 22. For row 22, we're going to place a double crochet in each stitch and every space all the way across. For row 23, we're going to do exactly what we did on row two, and once I've done that, I can show you how it looks. Here is how row 23 looks when it's all finished. Row 24, just repeat row 22 here, and place a double crochet in each stitch and space all the way across. When it's finished, I will meet back up. Here, row 24 is all finished. From here, we are going to repeat this bunny image, but we're going to be repeating it so it's flipped the other way. So what I'm going to do is I will tell you your repeats and then show you what the row looks like as I tell you the repeats. Here I have completed rows 25 and 26. Your repeat for these two rows will be 17 spaces, one block. Repeat all the way down your work, double crochet into your last stitch, and turn to begin row 27. Row 27, this repeat is going to be nine spaces, four blocks, four spaces, one block. Repeat all the way across your work, double crochet into your last stitch, turn to begin row 28. Row 28 repeat will be four spaces, four blocks, one space, two blocks, six spaces, one block. Repeat all the way down your work, double crochet into your last stitch, turn to begin row 29. Row 29 is four spaces, two blocks, one space, eight blocks, two spaces, one block. Repeat all the way down your work, double crochet into your last stitch, turn to begin row 30. Row 30 repeat will be two spaces, ten blocks, five spaces, one block. Repeat all the way to the end, double crochet into your last stitch, turn to begin row 31. Row 31 repeat is five spaces, nine blocks, three spaces, one block. Repeat all the way across and then turn to begin row 32. Row 32 repeat will be three spaces, nine blocks, five spaces, one block. Repeat all the way across to the end of your work, double crochet into your last stitch, turn to begin row 33. Row 33 repeat is five spaces, seven blocks, five spaces, one block. Repeat all the way across, double crochet into your last stitch, Turn to begin row 34. Row 34 repeat will be six spaces, eight blocks, three spaces, one block. Repeat all the way across. Turn to begin row 35. Row 35, do your first block, and then your repeat is going to be two spaces, seven blocks, eight spaces, one block. Repeat all the way across your work and double crochet into your last stitch. Row 36 repeat is going to be 10 spaces, 2 blocks, 1 space, 2 blocks, 2 spaces, and 1 block. Repeat that all the way down your work, and then once you get to the end, you're going to double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row 37. Row 37 repeat is going to be 3 spaces, 5 blocks, 9 spaces, one block. Repeat all the way across your blanket and when you get to the end, double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row 38. Row 38 repeat is going to be eight spaces, two blocks, one space, two blocks, four spaces, and one block. Repeat all the way down your work and double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row 39. Row 39 repeat is four spaces, two blocks, one space, two blocks, eight spaces, one block. Repeat all the way down your work, double crochet in your last stitch, turn to begin row 40. Row 40, your repeat is going to be eight spaces, one block, two spaces, two blocks, four spaces, one block. Repeat across, double crochet into your last stitch, turn to begin row 41 and 42. Row 41 and 42 repeat is going to be 17 spaces, one block all the way across, double crochet into your last stitch, turn, repeat row 1 through 42 once more, and then repeat row 1 through 3 to finish off your work. Adding a border on your bunny blanket is very fun and simple. So once you've come to the very end of your blanket, you're just going to turn your work, and along the top edge is where you're going to start your border. Once you've turned, single crochet into your first stitch. Insert your hook, Grab your yarn and pull up a loop, 
I have two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both loops for the single crochet. Next, chain one and then skip two stitches and into the next stitch we're going to double crochet, chain one, three times. Skip two stitches and then we're going to repeat. So our repeat again is going to be single crochet, chain one, skip two stitches, double crochet, chain one, three times, skip two stitches. You're going to repeat this all the way down your work. Skip two stitches and then repeat. Repeat this all the way across your work. So here for me, I'm ending on a single crochet, which is what I did on my big blanket too. Then I'm going to chain one and then we're going to work down this raw edge here where we have the uprights to our double crochet or row ends. So we're going to treat each one of these row ends like two stitches and for me this is what I just did. So I single crocheted, chained one, then I skipped this row end into the next row end I went ahead and did my double crochets, chain ones like this. Then into this next one, I went ahead and single crocheted, chain one, and into the very next one, I went ahead and did the double crochets again. And if you prefer, you don't want it as bumpy as this, you could always skip a row if you like, but this is how mine worked out. Continue in this fashion all the way around your work, and then when you're done, fasten off and weave in all your ends. I hope you enjoy making this beautiful blanket. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!